No guts. No gold. Hi, hello everybody. It's me, Sky World Stream, back with another video. This time it's why Skylanders are great once again. And anybody who saw the thumbnail and you know the title, and uh, you know literally just every part of this video right now, we're doing trigger happy. And doesn't that just sound excellent? Trigger happy. I mean. He's trigger happy. Of course he's going to be on here. He's going to be on this series. What do you guys think? And if you think he isn't. <gasps> anyway. Trigger happy. Let's start off with his pew pew attack. Just so clear that's his main attack. Basically, he shoots a gun. It shoots coin. And you can't upgrade this to have them bounce off the walls. And when you do that, it's just absolute madness if you're spamming in every direction. And it can do oodles of damage. But even without that <laughs> even without that upgrade, still, very good move. Very, not even a little, ugh. Very, you know? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you do. You do, don't you? I know you do. Anyway, basically, yeah. And then, outside of that, you have a second attack. This one is just another out of the park. Outstanding. Oh, and before we move on to the private secondary attack fully, I want to mention that I didn't say this, but even though it's simple, his primary attack is great, you know, you know, it's just great, great with a G, just so we're great with a G. Anyway, his second attack, it, 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 it starts off as you throwing a pot of gold. Obviously, if you take the bottom path, it uh, evolves more outside of the whole gold spectrum. But yeah, this does oodles of damage. Oodles. That's the word of the day, guys. The super secret Skylanders word of the day is oodles. Even though I'm pretty sure that isn't a real word. Don't ask. Anyway, it does oodles of damage. It's his most powerful attack, even though it does doesn't fire nearly as rapidly as the other two. It still has its situations where it's a very useful. If there's a short window of time you have to do deal for an enemy, then it is absolutely perfect for getting that smack down. And while the top path is just better, the bottom path still does have its strong suit. In a lot of aspects, actually. Either way, now that we've reviewed the third attack, we need to move on to the third attack. And yes, I said that wrong on purpose. His third attack is, in my opinion, peak trigger happy quality it is the shooter but better it does i'm pretty sure more damage than the pistols and it does it in way more rapid succession and while sure you get kicked out of it luckily it's either a soul gem or a wow pal soul gem or wow pal soul gem yeah soul gem Gives you infinity ammo, and while sure you can't do 360 degrees, you can still do it just infinitely. If, like, per se, let's take the Nightmare Chaos battle. It's perfect. Once he's down, just pull this out and do not stop whatever you do. It will do the damage in the lots. It will do damage in the lots. And everyone loves damage in the lots, don't you? I love damage in the lots. Either way, that's the trigger happy, and while he might be fragile, he makes up for it in the raw damage he can do, and the fact that he's decently fast. Either way, you know, there's the trigger for you. Oh, also, might I say, once I start using trigger happy more, I bet he's going to be a prime candidate for MVP in the Iconic Hawk. Also, um, don't take it as a coincidence that Every, like, everyone on the Iconic Lock 
well, not everyone, but, like, a good chunk of the roster of the Iconoclock have had episodes of this. A, also, then I can just reuse game highs, so it makes the episodes easier. Well, I'm not being lazy. You're being lazy. Either way, the Iconoclock has very...